Hi, very good afternoon to you and happy summer solstice. It's the 21st and um, it is on the 21st that the sun rises in the northern hemisphere for the next couple of days at least um, at its highest point. So, uh, you know, if you are outside, uh, I'm, not, I'm going to be very careful here because a lot of people in the last video when I was saying, you know, make sure you wear your sunblock because of we're at 20 to 25 percent more solar radiation than usual uh, I got criticized because a lot of people were saying you know sunblock is also uh, known to cause cancers but you know do whatever you have to okay if, if it comes down to it just avoid being out there at the highest point of the day where the Sun is you know in the uh, sky just avoid it completely you know or if you've got alternative sunblocks put them on it's as simple as that. I can never win sometimes. You know, if I say one thing, we're always going to get someone else say another. Um, it's been nearly a month, can you believe, since we last did uh, Earth Alpha at a glance. And this is the day where we get out all our equipment here, the CO2 detector, the background radiation, uh, monitoring, um, you know, gamma beta and x-rays. Uh, we also have an atmospheric oxygen sensor we also include uh, the latest magnetic pole positioning so you can go to this one page and get all this stuff including um, you know the largest in the last 24 hours uh, magnetic sorry not the magnetic uh, the largest earthquake um, and also the volcanic eruption um, amounts so I mean let's go through it uh, before that let me just say Huge thanks to just a few. It is always, and more so these days, uh, you know, more people watching, less people supporting. It's it's just, you know, a shame. There's nothing else to say. You know, I wish it was other. And, um, you know, even at this point in time, you know, we've reached 40 degrees, 100% now. We have definitely reached 40 degrees. And there could be just um, a number of months before we start to see dramatic changes. It's now, between now and uh, 40 degrees and 45 degrees, that we could see activity noticeably getting, you know, worse. Uh, with, you know, the uh, decaying magnetosphere from 20 to 25% could get much, much worse than that. Uh, you know, the weather on our planet or the climate on our planet can change dramatically you know we're there guys three years in the waiting and today we're here and you know just a few people as always chipping in a few quid here and there yeah you know, I, I just don't understand what's going on you know you'd think that you know an observatory like ours that covers all this stuff you know gets all the equipment to record all the data for you guys would be a little bit better supported at least by you know the subscribers that we've got. I mean, we've got sixty thousand. That's another milestone for us here. We hit sixty thousand subscribers the other day. It would be just a refreshing change to see a few more people say, you know what, this guy needs a break. You know, we're going to step up to the line and uh, chip in a few books. You know, I'll mention the link at the end of the video, guys. Let's get on with Earth Alpha Glance, and I'll leave you to enjoy your family time. On this fine evening or it could be morning or afternoon depending on where you are let's get on with it earth alpha at a glance uh, so starting off with atmospheric co2 we are still at 430 parts per million the last time we done this on the 25th of may it was at 430 parts per million and if you have a look in the archive you know co2 is dropping but mainstream media ain't saying diddly squat about it and I wonder why because there are trillions of dollars and pounds and whatever currency you use involved in the biggest uh, hook wink scam you know that has ever been pulled on us you know it's funny I was watching um, a music video that came up uh, in the description today uh, I can't remember the group's name but it was talking about politicians being strippers and isn't that true Hey? The only thing is, is that not, you know, in our face with their perky little asses wearing a thong or, you know, 
with their titties waving around, what they are doing is using their mouth just the same as a stripper would or, you know, a lap dancer. Ah, nerd is the group, isn't it? So, you know, you know these are the these are the morons that are fleecing us of our taxpayers' money and they don't give a damn anymore. I mean, just look at what Boris Johnson done. He's found guilty at the pandemic lockdown of having throwing parties galore, yeah? And he's resigned because he just doesn't want to angle the flak now. What he's done, he's actually, you know, raked in millions and millions of pounds for himself and his family and all his buddies, and now he's took off. And there'll be no imprisonment for people like him, just like Hunter Biden. There'll be no prison for him either. We are in a two-tier system where it's one rule for us and another for these degenerates. Let's just call them that. You know, I could think of much worse uh, words to call them, but you know what, I'm going to get uh, penalised for it, as I always do. Okay, Earth Alpha at a glance. So we've done the CO2, 430, atmospheric oxygen, as normal, uh, 20.45. We've got the longitude and the latitude of the latest magnetic pole reversal that was done on the 17th this month. Uh, moving on to the radiation background, just a little drop, uh, 0, 0 0.13 microsievets. Uh, largest earthquake in the last 24 hours is measuring in at a magnitude of 5.7 in the Fiji region. Uh, we've got muons per square meter per hour in the UK at 521 and uh, in Canada we have muons per square meter per hour at 847 both of those muon readings are just very gradually higher than normal um, sunspot numbers 10 uh, bear in mind we're a couple of years away from solar maximum so you know we could see higher numbers than that but it is good to see some activity in as far as solar sunspots are concerned because what that means is that it is pushing the heliosphere just that little bit more than usual and therefore giving us our secondary protection against inbound cosmic rays into our solar system um, we have uh, solar x-rays are normal actually when i oh sorry yes yes solar x-rays are normal but the geomagnetic field as you can see there is in a storm at the moment um, and our jet streams are, are unstable and you know why that is you know extra cosmic rays inbound providing perfect seeding platforms for water vapor and therefore we have laden down jet streams in the polar and subtropical regions mixing with each other and as we always report on these days more importantly recently noticed over the last couple of years we've seen interchange over the equatorial region between the both tropicals in the north and the south um, interchanging with each other and that was not common just like a lot of things that just like the polar jet streams mixing with the subtropical in the northern and southern hemispheres that was not common you know our jet streams on our earth right now are busted we are on a busted planet whizzing around the sun at 70,000 miles an hour you know rotating at 24,000 miles and sorry a thousand miles an hour you know it is a hostile environment you only have to look at the moon to know that you know all them impact craters on the moon the only reason why they're visible and the earth isn't you know those those amount of impact craters are not visible on the earth because we have vegetation and we also have you know water erosion so you know that's why the earth doesn't look like the moon but guaranteed it's been hit and spanked just as many times as the moon and that is a demonstration of how in hostile the environment out in space we live in and you know we all take it for granted don't we 70,000 miles an hour Jane yeah if you put your hand out the window of a car if it was able to go that fast your hand would disintegrate it'd be like putting it in a furnace that about I don't know seven to ten thousand degrees Celsius it just melt it straight off but that magnetosphere keeps us nice and comfy and protected and it's that very magnetosphere which is weakening right now guys sorry to put a blunt uh, note on it but you know, that is what is happening currently as we speak right now our earth is in one of the rarest anomalies ever 
known to man and we have very little data and that's why we uh, like to boast occasionally that we are the only observatory monitoring at a resolution of every three seconds the changes that are taking place with our magnetic north pole and our magnetosphere on this planet guys there is a link down there if you know you feel we are deserved a little of a bit of support it's entirely up to you it's not mandatory but geez if we don't get support we disappear simple as that keep us in the game chuck a few books in guys have an amazing day that's what i usually do take after your love take care of your loved ones as always bye for now